my name is Nubuke and full disclosure my mommy does not want me getting a tattoo she's just like you know why can't you get something that is temporary something that you can rub off and you know I mean yes but the more and more I grow the more and more I think about it and I know you're thinking about it as well so I thought why not do a video where we actually go to some tattoo places in Ghana see if they can do it well um, and so I'm gonna go pick up my friend and then we can go hello folks I'm here with my sister Adavia Hi. <laughs> and we've actually just reached our first destination which is Black Lion Tattoo Studio it is behind us I think it is in somebody's house and before we go in I think we should call them first the number you're trying to reach is on another call <laughs> please stay on the line or call back later <laughs> to destination two which is kemi tunes um it is in east legon the first place they didn't want us to film <laughs> again so unfortunately that's the only intro you get to black lion that's yeah. the only intro you get to black lion <laughs> what she said <laughs> um, and so up to kemi tunes hopefully they let us film there otherwise Hi. Hi. So how long have you been doing um, tattooing in Ghana? Okay. Professionally, yes. Uh, I, I started from 2001. Mm. And how was that like being a tattoo artist in Ghana at the beginning? Uh, from the beginning, uh, family, Christian backgrounds, people don't really like it because mm. they think it's not a profession and they think it's, uh, it's not um, our religion, Christianity mm. and all that don't like it. And, some people just don't like it because they think tattoos when you have it, that means you're a bad boy. Yeah. But I mean, we've seen some of your work on her. She pulled up your Instagram page and it's beautiful. So thank you so much for all the work that you're doing. And I, I, the advice to the system, tattoo artists and new people who want to get tattoos is you make sure you get a tattoo from a professional. At least you have to get a tattoo from somebody who's doing tattoos for about five years. Mm. With good tattoo practices and uh, hygiene, practicing uh, uh, you know doing mm -hmm. tattoos and uh, Australia hygienic condition. yeah well that's really good thank you so much Mr. Kemi Tunes you're always welcome yeah maybe mom and dad were right when they told me this wouldn't be nothing maybe I should take their advice go get a life or maybe get a job or something pack it up and head back home tell everybody I was bluffing Maybe I'll just get out my head and focus on what I know's coming. Yeah. Cause I can't fall asleep at night without seeing my dreams. Delusion and reality, I'm somewhere in between. These voices in my head get loud. Okay, so we just finished um, AB's tattoos. And honestly, I was telling Adobe that out of all the spaces that we've been in, I actually quite like. Okay, I actually quite like AB's because it was like a tattoo space. It was like dedicated to tattoos, and then it was nice and big. So I felt like it was big, like it was one big room with a plasma screen TV. Yeah, I feel like you could get your whole support team. Like, like yeah, I feel like you can fit, fit like a couple of people in that room. You could just all get tattoos. But um, yeah. <laughs> Me. 
Hi guys, so finally I have made it to my last tattoo destination um, and this place I'm particularly excited about because I saw it in Basma's YouTube video um, and guess who I'm here with today? <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about your tattoo? What are you getting? I'm getting a swallow bird. A swallow bird? And swallow bird. where are you going to get it? Um, at the back of my eye. Good evening, Mr. Frankie's back. Hi, how are you? Okay, so I'm going to start off with a basic question that I know you've heard a million times, but how long have you been doing tattoos? Yeah, for quite a while. Okay. Uh, professionally, let's say like uh, seven years. Okay, okay. Uh, and then, did you move from Nigeria to Ghana? Obviously, yeah. Okay, and how come? Why? Why? Well, I've coming to Ghana for a while, back and forth. You know, and I saw this place as a place where you can actually like, establish a tattoo business. Yeah. And you have people really, really vibe to the, the culture of Yeah. Tattooing. So yeah, Accra is actually a smooth place to try and bring in the business and make people understand. Yeah. Business, you know? And then I see that on your wall, you have something that says tattoos are not a crime. And I love that. And I know that you have a lot of merch that says tattoos are not a crime. Yeah. And so like, I don't know why that particular phrase. And yeah, because this is Africa. When you see someone with tattoos, different kind of piercings, mm -hmm. hairstyle and everything. The first thing that comes to your mind is okay that guy is a bad guy so when you when you actually have a society where people are much against mm -hmm. individuals with tattoos and yeah. stuff like that you just want to make a message out to them and tell them tattoos are not crime. yeah and so i love the fact that you have these posters around that is constantly reinforcing the idea that tattoos aren't a crime yeah they're not a crime okay it's a way of life it's fashion i mean look at this like yeah, you can you show us some of the like ink this? on your skin? Yeah, like you just want to walk around town like look good and feel like yeah, yeah. I'm telling my story with my body, you feel me? Yeah. So, yeah, that's what's up. Okay, okay. And have you done any tattoos on yourself? Um, yeah, I tried. <laughs> I, I had to do it twice though. Yeah. That's, that's the tattoo I have on my leg here. Oh, See? but this is really yeah, cool. I, I did it twice because I was really shaking the first time. Yeah, yeah. And what do you have to tell the people that are coming to 1410 or the people that want to come here? I mean, you're looking out for a place where you can actually vibe correct with your artist and walk out the door with a sweet tattoo design on you, you know? That when people see you in town, they're like, this guy, I just want to link up with you, you know? That's what 1410 is about. We want to make you shine. Okay, folks, so you already know that Jabril, that is the end of our little tattoo tour. Look at this. This is how I experiment to see whether I want more tattoos or not. I do my little tattoo tour. And so, yeah. Ah! It left me, it left me, and remember I just, I just might be a black Bill Gates in the making mm -hmm. So watch this space Watch this space